Hey everybody, Zach here at River Valley Marine in Red Wing, Minnesota. Wanted to give you a video walkthrough of, yes, it may be the most budget-friendly way to get into a Yamaha. It is the SX190, but with that being said, we're going to take it through and show you a lot of really cool features that make this boat absolutely incredible. The value is second to none. We're going to start right here on the outside of the boat where you can see those beautiful gray graphics on this one. This boat is considered their white color combo. Beautiful gray look going down that black stamped windshield. Does come with a bimini top. Love the stainless steel cleats. You can see you got a cleat in the middle, cleats up front, cleat in the back. Just a very aesthetically sharp looking boat. It is packaged with the Shorelander trailer from Yamaha as a complete package. As we work our way to the back of the boat, the SX190 has this beautiful swim platform, multi-tiered swim ladder, multiple grab handles, cup holders, love the sea deck flooring, and beautiful contoured backrest. Your ski toe eye is right in the middle. An absolutely perfect entertainment center on the back of this SX190. Work your way inside the boat and look at the interior volume for a 19 foot boat. This thing is absolutely massive, beautiful flooring, twin bucket seats and the big L-shaped lounge in the back. You'll notice how it's cut out for easy entry and the cushion is removable so you don't have to step on the cushion when entering into the cockpit. Simply snap in the center cushion, you've got this big L-shaped lounge. Love the way they do the grab handles, the padding. Look at the upholstery work and the stitch work. That is very, very nice. You're gonna find that on a lot of upscale boats. Like I said, for Yamaha's most budget-friendly package, this boat is really set up with a lot of great features. Cup holders are easy to access. I like the way they do the grab handles and the cup holders that are down and out of the wind. Just really makes it a cool setup. And this area here does have the opportunity to have the table put in. Simply slide in the table. You have this beautiful area in the back. Notice the captain's chair and your passenger chair both swivel, making this a full entertainment area. Also, right behind the passenger seat, there's a spot for the cooler. The cooler comes with the boat. That straps in right behind the helm seat. Moving forward in the boat, like I mentioned, that big oversized helm seat. Really enjoy how they do the cutout in the back, along with the multiple... Uh, Fabrics and contrast and stitching gives it a good look. Passenger seat the same way. Nice cutout and opening in the back. Allows for nice back ventilation, which is always good on those hot sunny days. And you do have a flip up bolster as well. The oversized bolster, nice and comfortable. Gets you up a little above the windshield there. A little more leg room. And from there, let's take a look at the dash. For a uh, budget friendly way to get into a boat, this dash is pretty lights out. You have the three spoke Yamaha wheel, tilt wheel, uh, Jensen stereo with your remote, cup holder, 4.3 connects touchscreen, cell phone holder, auxiliary USB 12 volt outlet, your no wake mode, all the easy to use switches, Yamaha controls are easy to access, cup holders down and out of the wind. This is a very complete dash for this SX190. Work our way over to the other side, you've got a glove box, love the way they do the soft tech mat up on the top of the dash keeps things from sliding around. You got a grab handle, cup holder, and a very nice sight line. It's hard to probably see it from here, but the windshield is very nice and very deep for a 19 foot boat. As we work our way forward, take a look at the size of this bow section. This is absolutely massive. This eight foot plus beam is carried so far forward, really gives you some very deep, very nice seating. It's very wide. This 19-foot boat has a bow section that would be certainly comparable to many 20-plus foot boats in the industry. The padded backrest is very nice and again, good use of multiple, uh, the contrast and stitching along with multiple upholsteries. Nice padded rest, cup holders out of the wind, grab handles, and sound system forward. So we talked about all a lot of the um, really neat features in the boat, but take a look at the storage in this boat. Underneath the both of the front seats, they easily flip up. You have a lot of nice storage under there. Right in the very front, you've got an anchor locker. Everything is very easy to operate, and I love the way they make those front seats flip up. Also notice that they're all rotocast backed seats. Nothing will rot or uh, anything to that effect. Work your way to the middle of the boat, and you're going to get the big in-floor locker. Take a look at that. That's fully channeled, fully gasket sealed nice hardware and look at the finish work inside that's a 
molded piece in here and it uh, is fully finished so it's not just raw fiberglass on the bottom of the boat that is a very nicely finished in-floor locker to the port side of the console there's a nice storage area there very handy very big and deep probably hard to see in video and on the starboard side you've actually got uh, mounted in the door is the garbage can along with a nice big storage area underneath the uh, helm work your way to the back of the boat on the port side here you've got a nice big uh, storage compartment again all rotocast seat backs and bases your battery is tucked underneath easy to get to and there is a battery switch tucked back in there as well and just so we don't forget anything the back starboard corner also has a nice big storage area very deep and it goes way back there for uh, a good amount of storage before we leave the inside of the boat definitely have to show you their motor compartment because this is very nicely finished uh, you would expect a Yamaha, seeing how they are an engine builder and a boat builder, to um, make this very compact and easy fitting, not take up a lot of room. This boat is powered by the 1.8 high output Yamaha. Very good power package for this boat, very efficient. Makes for just a nice running boat. Notice the uh, additional insulation on the inside to keep the noise levels down. Just overall a very sharp looking power plant and a very... I tell you what, one thing I'm going to go on about is how reliable Yamaha is. And this 1.8 HO motor is a very reliable, very maintenance-free motor. So that there is a quick video walk-around of the 2023 Yamaha SX190. Uh, this may be, again, the most budget-friendly boat in the Yamaha lineup, but it truly does not lack features and benefits and really is an amazing value. Easy to trailer. Easy to load, easy to launch, easy to use, makes for just a great family boat. Again, I am Zach here at River Valley Marine in Red Wing, Minnesota, and I appreciate you taking the time to look at this uh, Yamaha.